Hey YouTube, hello Dragonfly here. Going to be making my success incense. I just did a video on my success oil. I'll show that to you. <clears throat> so now I'm going to make an incense to go with it. Excuse the light, but it's kind of dark in this room. And I don't think it will be too much of a problem. So, anyway, let's start. I do not charge each of my herbs before I put them in. I do it once everything is all together. Um, right before I do the spell work. Or ritual, whatever the case may be. So, I'm going to start with some nutmeg. Just a little bit in there. This is some sage from my garden at my last home. I haven't been at this new home long enough to um, really have a garden yet, but I will. The spring, as soon as winter gets over, if it ever ends. Some cinnamon. Now, if I was really good, I would tell you what, why I'm putting each of these in. Um, the correspondence, whatnot. Just know that they're all for different variations of success, wealth, money, at least in my opinion. Um, so each herb, each thing, there are like um, widely accepted correspondences and then there are things that you just know you just want them in there. So for me these are all success, money, um, wealth, um, Prosperity, all that kind of stuff. So, here is some vervain. Some basil. Chamomile. I know a lot of people think of chamomile as more of relaxing, but you know, chamomile to me is good things, good intentions. I think it should be. And some lavender, which I feel the same way about. Um, again, good vibes, basically. And you know, success is about good vibes. We're going to put some Arabica gum, and I'm only going to do a little bit. Now that I put that in there, I'm going to have to crush this up a little bit. So, what I'm working on is doing a ritual, um, <coughs> excuse me, over the next few days maybe even a little bit longer than a few days and um, there is a job that my husband would like to have you can really smell this um, not that he isn't working it's not that kind of a job but there is a he's a construction worker and there's a big job coming up and he would really like to get it on it in on it um, financially it is a good job because he gets paid for you know, different places, different jobs. He gets paid different amounts. So financially, it is a good job. But it's in an area that we'd really like to be in through the summer. And let's put it that way. Um, this is myrrh powder. Also, as part of this little video series I'm doing, 
I will show you how I came up with this ritual to like my steps, my procedures into creating everything. Some dragon's blood. And I'm not sure of the actual um, correspondence of dragon's blood, but I think of dragons as strong. And um, basically, that is to represent my husband in this particular thing. And, you know, I like to re represent him as part of my success because I don't have to work because of what he does. So that is part of my success. And I feel very successful not having to go to work. Not everybody can say that. So I just added some cloves. And I'm just giving up a little crush. Now cloves are a little harder to crush. They don't have to be, you know, powder necessarily. Just a little breakup. Jasmine. It's my jasmine. I just got it in, so that was what was left in the bag that wouldn't fit in. This is, I don't know how to pronounce it, syncofoil? I call it five finger grass because that's easier to say. So that is really good for success, business, money, stuff like that. This is some benzene. Crush that up a little bit. Now, you don't need to put all of this in here. You know, understand that as far as correspondences and spell work and things, it's really maybe what you have available, that kind of stuff. But this is um, pretty important. It's a pretty big job. I'm kind of like really going out. I don't do a whole lot of big rituals, but um, this will be. This is some pine needle. This smells really good already. Um, put that in last. This is some amber. Amber is a little sticky. Insects got stuck in it, you know, and that is just basically to hold my intentions together. Hold my intentions to everything. Plus it smells really good. Now I have it all over myself. This is some High John the Conqueror. Let's see if I didn't crush this up beforehand. See if I can grate it. Yeah, it's grating pretty good. So um, it's always recommended when you buy this, you get it whole because once it's been crushed, it it's very easy to um, falsify. Uh, you know, it's not always. I'm not saying people are dishonest, but people are dishonest. So, but this little. I don't know what this is, reamer thing. Reamer's probably not what it is, but a little grater. Works great, and I don't know if you can see, but it is great and just fine, so. And this I just got in today, too, because I didn't have any. Um, so, it's off. There's a little... Um, insert that came with it today, which was kind of nifty, it says that also known as Jap root and is the number one root used in Southern folk magic known as hoodoo. Great for luck, gambling, masculinity, and sexuality. And the reason I got it was for the luck and the masculinity. Um, again, everybody will tell you if you don't have what you need, you don't have to have everything. It doesn't have to be 
perfect. Um, your correspondences are whatever you want them to be. But um, it was important to me to have this uh, particular route. It, I really wanted... Um, it was just important to me. My intent, my the importance. So I had to have it for this particular ritual. I, I really can't say anything. I mean, people tell you don't have to have it. You don't have to have anything. You know, it's all your intent, blah, blah, blah. And that's well and fine. But if you want something, get it. Don't feel bad for going out to get something. Don't feel bad for paying for something if you want it. I'm just saying. I mean, it's your your ritual. Do what you want. And this is Toy Mc, McCoy. I don't know if you can see that. That, what it is basically, it's um, from the bark of a tree. Um, but it will um, spark. It will light up. So I kind of got that. Did I bring in a spoon? Of course I did not. I don't really want a whole lot of it because I don't need a big flame going on. Um... All right, well, we're just going to have to wing it, so let's see what I can do here. Okay, that should be good. Keep putting this down. All right, so I'm just going to give it a little stir. Break everything down into it. So again, this is success, um, wealth, money, good luck, good fortune, all that kind of stuff. And then later when I go about to do a ritual, I will probably not videotape the actual ritual itself, but I will show you the setup and probably do a little walkthrough. Um, as far as ritual goes, it's kind of personal to me and I don't want to be distracted by the camera, but how I set up the walkthrough, all that kind of stuff, I think would be good. It'd be, I mean, that's one of those things that I always wanted when I was looking at YouTube videos, like how... I don't know anything about witch. I don't know anything about ritual. I mean, what do I do? I've since learned that winging it really is my best thing. Um, I don't... I've watched videos, got other people's ideas, but I don't necessarily need them. Um, I can pretty much go with my gut and be good about it. And, and you know, that's just fine. So... Here is my success incense. Now you can't really see like the jasmine flowers and whatnot, but that's okay because I crushed them up a bit. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you'll join me for the next part. Have a great day.